So today we're going to do units, uh, not unit, lesson seven. So you open your class book, students book to page 33. Okay. Right. So this page here, remember every time you do an exercise or a test, the first thing you should always do is read the instructions, what you have to do. Look and read quickly. So look at the pictures, read, and match the photos with the descriptions. A description is to describe something, to say what something looks like. All right, so these, so this writing is a description saying what the photo or the picture looks like. Right. So let's have a read of number one. In this photo, I can see about 13 children. They aren't wearing school uniform. Most of them are writing. The teacher is sitting at the front of the classroom. She's writing on the projector. There is a blackboard on the wall and a map of the world. I think this is a photo of a classroom in the 1960s. And that is by Mark, and that's picture B. So, quick look at picture B. I like to talk about pictures. I like to talk about pictures because there's lots of language in a picture, isn't there? So, there's picture B. This is a kind of classroom that when I was a boy at school, we had classrooms very much like this. Students sit in rows, not always, but sometimes in rows means in lines. These are not wearing school uniforms, so that I don't understand because when I was a boy and went to school, we all wore school uniform. So maybe this is, I don't know. Uh, blackboard, no whiteboards. Projector here, not the projector on the, on the ceiling. This is a projector that just puts a picture on the screen here, but is not connected to a computer because you didn't have computers in the classrooms. You can see a map of the world. The teacher at the front of the classroom using the projector to show the work. Yeah, and you can see there, most of them are writing something. Right, let's read the next one, number two. In this photo, there are about six children some of them are sitting down and some of them are standing up. Two of the children are playing the keyboard. I think this is a music lesson. The children are wearing school uniform. The teacher is at the back 
of the classroom. I think this is a photo of a modern classroom. So it's this one over here, isn't it? Okay, teacher sitting at the back of the classroom. The children are wearing school uniforms. Not the, not the same as a Thai school uniform, but more modern. Modern means now, not, not, not in the past. So before in England, they used to wear different uniforms, but now they wear more like normal clothes almost. T-shirts, sweatshirts, or jumpers, or just in the same color really. Music lesson, they're playing a keyboard. Um, yeah, some are, some are standing, some are sitting. Okay, let's go to number three. In this photo, there are about 18 children. The children are wearing school uniform. They are sitting in rows. There is one desk for each child. Remember, child is one. Children is the plural, more than one. All of the children have a notebook on their desk. The teacher is at the back of the classroom. She is standing up. There are photographs on the wall, and that is picture A. Now, picture A, you can see it's an old photograph, black and white, not, don't have color. The children, it's all girls, isn't it? It must be a girls' school. And they're all wearing very old clothes. Doesn't look like uniform to me, but maybe it is. Teacher standing at the back of the classroom, photographs or pictures on, on the wall. And here they have notebooks on their desk. Not a notebook computer. Notebooks are really books for writing in, yes? books that you use for writing in, they're called notebooks. So of, of course, back in this time, they didn't have computers. So, Mark's description is about picture B. Amy's is picture C. And Tanya description is of picture A. Right, we'll move down here to this part. Right. I keep asking you, but it doesn't happen. I know it doesn't happen, but I keep asking you. Give everyone a chance to read or to answer questions. Students who never answer questions or read anything on the Zoom class. I would like you to try. Just say your student number and you can try to speak or answer a question or read something because if you don't then you're not learning english and uh, i don't know if you if you're good at english or bad i don't know because you're not trying right so i would like one student to read oh it says here look and read again so reading these three descriptions, and then write true or false to these sentences. 
So, who's reading number one? Number twenty. Twenty. I wish you, Pancake. I wish you just wait a little bit. You're always the first to say number twenty. Just wait. Give other students a chance. You don't give people a chance. Yes, yes. So, let's try again. Who would like to read number one? Number two. Number what? Number two. So always mm -hmm. the same students in there. Okay, best go. Can yes for those shows about eighteen children. Is that true or false? False. Right, let's have a quick look at that then. Tanya's photo means the photo from Tanya or of Tanya. No, from Tanya. Shows about 18 children. False. Tanya's photo is A. Shows about 18 children. Does it? About 18 children. True. It is true, not false. Okay. Tanya's photo shares about 18 children. True. You can write true there if you like. Right. Best, because you already answered a question, you don't answer the next ones. So another student for number two, please. Number 25. 25. Wait. Come on, another student. Number 10. 10, wait, please. Come on, I'm giving, I'm giving you chances, students. I'm telling the good students to wait. Another student. I'm telling the good students not to answer this one because it's it's an easy one. It's so easy. Student number one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, 13, 14, 23, 24, 26, 27, 28. Never answer a question. Come on. Who can read number two? Number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. Number Number two. 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 Mark's photo shows a small classroom. Is it true or is it false? False. Right, so Mark's photo is picture B. Picture B, a small classroom? Mm, doesn't look very small to me. It's quite big, so correct. That's false. Right. Don't shout your number. Who would like to do number three? Good students. No, I just said don't say your number 10. Let other students try. And any other student would like to try to read number three. No. Right, it's quite a difficult one. So, Marty, you read number three, please. The teacher is at the back of the classroom in Amy's photo. True or false? True. 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 The teacher is at the back of the classroom in Amy's photo. Amy's photo is C. This one, yeah, at the back of the classroom. True. Okay. Unless you think that's the front of the classroom. Doesn't really matter. Right. 
Is there a student who would like to try number four? I mean, a student who doesn't always answer questions? No? Okay, Shogun, Thank number you. 10, you can go. Number four. The student in Mark for the thing, the thing in low. What? Something with your microphone. You sound like a robot. Me, 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 me. Robot boy. Yeah. That children in my photo are sitting in rows. Me, 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 me. <laughs> yeah, that was okay. But something, something about your microphone there, Shogun. Okay, so the children in Mark's photo are sitting in rows. Shogun, true or false? Wow. Wow. <laughs> robot. Look, I think I start calling you robot. <laughs> false. Hmm. Mark's photo. B. Sitting in rows? I would say true. Sitting in lines. But that's okay. Right. Is there anyone who would like to read number five? 41, please. Okay, Tame. Uh, our children, uh, our other children in a mist photo are standing up. True or false? False. False. Amy's photo is photo C, all standing up. Yeah, false because some are sitting down. Okay, good. Right. Who would like to do number six? Number 25. Okay, go on then, back in. Mark can the a teacher in his photo. Mark can't see a teacher in his photo. True or false? False. Mark's photo is B. Can't see a teacher? False. You can see a teacher. Correct. False. Right. Seven. Number seven. Nobody? No other student? Hmm? Number 38. Yeah, okay. Um, number yeah, 19. Count. Right, well, 19. Uh, Tara, you do it. You was first. Tara? There are photographs on the wall in Tanya's photo. Is that true or is that false? True. True. Tanya's photo is photo A, isn't it? And that is true. You can see the photographs here. Right. Well done. Yeah. Now, in the descriptions here, we have some words underlined, don't we? Underlined. And it says here, Find these words in the text. And that will mean the words that are underlined. Find these words in the text. So, come on, this is this is really easy now. So I would don't want the I don't want the um, the good students to answer. I would like somebody else to have a have a go. What is number one? What is picture one? Come on, who hasn't answered a question today? What is picture one? Hmm? What number? Ten. Oh, that's robot ten. No, 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 robot. No, 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 robot. No. Somebody turn off the robot. Beep. <laughs> Another student. Come on. What's, what is picture one? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's a funny student number. Oh, my God. 
Come on, who's doing picture one? Hmm? No, I don't want robot shogun. Number ten. No? Oh dear. Not very good, are we? Right. Pancake, what's picture one? Blackboard. Blackboard, yeah. So you write blackboard at the top, blackboard. When you write the word, you should say the word in your mind. Helps you with spelling, blackboard. The or sound is made by O-A-R. Tame, what subject is on the blackboard? Hmm? Hmm? That's the wrong answer. English. Hmm? English. Uh, Not hmm. Hmm? hmm? <laughs> uh, ta well, uh, you, say, you say time or not? I said tame. Your name is tame, isn't it? T-H-A-M. Okay. Hmm, I don't know. Right, subject it was English. Yeah. Hmm. Right, who's doing picture two? Number twenty-five. No. Another student. Come on. Number thirty-five. Right, I take thirty-five. Nato. Keyboard. Keyboard, right. So you can write keyboard. A keyboard is used for things with these, with things you press with your fingers. You press these buttons down, and so that's called a keyboard. Like a keyboard you use on a computer, you press the buttons with your fingers. Because these, the black and the white here, they are, they are called keys. And the letters on the keyboard of a computer are called keys. Like conger, isn't it? But it's not. Right. Can we have another student for picture three? Number 36. OK, Mighty. School uniform. School uniform. Okay, so I've just have the word uniform, but you can write school uniform if you like under the picture. Uniform or school uniform. Uniform really means that everyone wears the same uh, clothes that look the same, usually the same color, the same things. Right. What is this? Who can tell me what's this? Ten. Oh no, numbers, numbers. You want please? No. Come on, another student. Oh God, we don't know anything or what in this class. Huh? You can't even say what this is. Not one word. 41, please. Yeah, I know 41, please. I don't want 41, please. I'm, that's what I'm keep saying. I want other students to try and answer a question. Ah. Oh. It's really irritating that about half this class never, ever answer one question. Never speak. Not anything. Come on. What is this? This black thing here with two legs. What is it? A student number. Not 41, please. Come on. No. 
pants, if you're using American English, or trousers, trousers, if you're using British English. Number. Bit late, isn't it, to say your number now? Right. What is this one? The red. Come on, student number. What is the red thing here? No. Well, it's a tie. I don't need the good students to tell me it's a tie. I'm sure you all know. Usually in Thailand, you say necktie, but we don't say necktie in England. We just say tie, okay? T-I-E. Right. What's this one here? Okay, number 41. What's this one here? Dress. No, it's not a dress. It does look like a dress, I, I agree, but it's not a dress. And does anyone know what it is? Number 40. Marty, what is it? Marty? Airpon. A what? Apron. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, that's a good word for it. That is a good word for it. apron. It does look like an apron. It looks like an apron. It's like a mix of an apron and a dress. So it's called a pinafore, a pinafore. You don't see them very often now. Yeah, it's a, like a mix of a dress and an apron. Yeah, good. Right. And number four, who's doing number four? Picture four, what is it? Too slow. Okay, robot. What is Number it? Number nineteen. Okay, nineteen. What is it? Come on, Nano. Oh, no answer. Shogun, robot. Come on. What is it? Cinema. Cinema. It's not a cinema. It's a projector. Oh, cinema. Projector. Projector. Doesn't say cinema anywhere up here, does it? Projector. This is a projector and this is a projector screen. Oh dear, 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 dear. Right. Now, so you can write those words. Right, what I would like you all to do. Right, can you all close your books? Close your books. Close your books and put your pencils and pens down all right close your books and put your pencils and pens down and the, i want you to do that because i want to give you a homework all right and so the homework is to do as a homework and not to copy now so don't open your books and don't copy all right what i'm going to give you now is homework to do all right I will show you the homework quite easy and then you can do it. This isn't your homework. This is your homework. So most of the girls have got dark pinafores. That's the word I said that looked like a dress or a, an apron, a pinafore and white shirts. Here you can see dark pinafores and a white shirt. Some, most of the girls, that means not all, but nearly all. Some of the girls look serious and some of them are smiling. Two of the children are writing. Right, so you read this and then you add the detail. So it says here, some of the children have got bags. Marty, how many children do you think have bags if some of the children have got bags? There's six children here. How many? Pancake, Marty, Tame? Two. Two, yeah. Two or two or three, okay? So sum of six, sum of six is two or three, all right? Maybe four. So I chose three. So you give them bags. So I've got one here, I'll give them a backpack. 
And I did another one here, I gave him a bag, and I gave a, a bag to this girl too. So I gave three bags, okay? Number two, all of the girls are happy, all of them. So give them a happy face. There's my happy face, right? Three of the boys have got pencils. Three, one, two, three, give them a pencil. I've gave them a color pencil. And most of the children are wearing red jumpers. Most means nearly all, but not all. So there's four. So you can give these four children here red jumpers like I've done. Okay. And then you can answer this here. So that's your homework is to finish this page. All right. When you finished, it will look like this and, and do this. All right. I have to close it because if I don't close it, I know the lazy students are just sit, sit there copying. Don't you? Hmm. That's not your homework is to homework is not to copy. The homework is to read and do the exercise the best you can. Okay. So that's a homework, please. And uh, homework to be finished for your next class tomorrow. We'll, and that, that is how we'll start tomorrow. We'll start by just going through that, checking your answers to the homework, and then we'll move on to Lesson eight. So books closed. That means you're looking at me. I can see you if you've got your camera on. So books closed and who can answer? Right. Who can spell? Good students, this is a bit too easy for you, I know. So give the other students a chance before you shout your number. Who can spell school? Number 20. Come on, robot. <laughs> Good, well done. Android. I am a robot, right? Who can spell pinafore? Ah, pinafore, without looking in your book. Pinafore. What do you want, please? Time. P-I-N-A-F-O-R-M. F-O-R-E, good. F-O-R-E. Yeah, pinafore, right. Who can spell projector? Number 20. Pancake, spell projector. P R O T. Uh, stop, 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 stop. I can see your eyes looking at the book. Look, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. And spell. Projector. No. No, no, pancake. Look at me. Pancake. Look at me and spell projector. Come on. P R O D E R T O R. Good, well done, good girl. <laughs> right, who can spell an oh, easier one? Blackboard. Number 39. Okay, best. B L A C K B O A R D. Right. I don't think of a hard one. Do I have a hard one? I don't have a hard one, do I? Who can spell Milo? No. Who can spell? I don't know. I don't can't think of one. Uh, who can spell children? Yeah. Children. Oh, 19. 19, go. C H I L D R E N. Who can spell child? Child. Number 40. Marty. Marty, go. C C H I L D. Right. Who can spell? Who can spell Cameron? My name. 
Five. My Five. Number thirty-eight. You can see. You can see. You can see my name on my on my camera. No, 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 no. It doesn't. No, 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 Right, that, that's all for today, students. Well done. See you tomorrow. Don't forget your homework, okay? Bye-bye. 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 Thank you, Tisha. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Tisha. Bye-bye.